Ladies and gentlemen, I said the artist I'm back on the one, so this time around we're gonna use the target effector in the move left to make the clones follow a object. Time waits for Nomad last year. <laughs> Here we are in Cinema 4D once again, business as usual. Let's get down to it. Drop in a cube. Scale that baby down, down, down. Down, down, down. Um, somewhere there. Press page on the keyboard. Bring that there in. Feel it. Click one. One will do maybe 1.5. Yeah, that's okay. Clone. Okay, cool it rain. Not a saw there. Put another saw. Okay. Uh seems like 8.5. Yep, 8.5 it is. 30 by 30, 30 by 30. Ooh, that's, that's that. Okay, so now we have to slip the cloner, come remote graph factors. We're looking for that guy. Okay, at the target. So now let's drop in a sphere. Change this to a cosahedron. Crank the segments to 50. Scale the baby in. Oh. Hmm. Maybe a little. Now with your target. Select it, drag the sphere, target object, leave it there. So now when you move the sphere, that happens. Okay, let's make things very interesting. Okay, let's work on the sphere. Come to deform us, uh, we're gonna use a display sewer. Inside the display sewer. Mm, okay, go to shading. Let's use some noise. In audio. Global scale. Global scale of 200. Right? Uh, animation speed, I'm gonna put one. Okay, let's practice frames to a thousand. Oh, hip side. Okay. That is happening. Come to the clue now. Let's work on this. You know, this is just static. Just want to move things up a bit. Okay. More graphs. Select the plane. Okay. Come to the plane parameters. But before that, huh? The one I'll put 60, maybe 50. 50 will do. Come to the plane fields. Let's put a shader, okay? Inside the shader, let's go for another noise. Ooh. That's more like it. You put shift here. Put shift in there. Oh yes. Now we're getting somewhere. In the shader, come to the noise, let's animate this baby. Animation speed. Okay. Let's hit play. That's more like it. Now our sphere. Go to target, animation target. Uh, go to vibrate. In the vibrate, we want the positions. 50 
Man, I was one fifteen. Maybe three hundred random bills. Okay, woo, 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 woo. We move too fast. Why are you moving too fast? <clears throat> Frequency with your uh, Fabrita text that tells you from five hundred something more sada. Hey, play. So what is happening here is that this uh, target, it's uh, making all of these clone cubes to follow the direction of the sphere. Okay, so at this point we are done. So let me try and let him add a, a randomizer in there. Select the cloner, go to more graphs, your effector this time of all, I'm gonna go with the random okay it's too much I'll scale this down I'll put 10 see you now that's beautiful you gotta say okay what can I change let's go to the target effector Let's use some power, see what it does. Okay. Ooh. That's what the recall does. So there are other parameters here as well. Oh my yeah, that's, that's that is good. So we can also use this to see how it all change. You know, let's play around. Add more things, add more features. Okay, let let me view this from the top. But first I'm just gonna Enable that. Drop in your camera. Look into your camera. Come to projection. Change to top. Zoom out. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's how it's done. That's what you can do with the more graphs. Uh, let me add one more thing here. Um, Go to fields. Let me add a formula field. Put this baby in a sub D. Just wanna see how uh, now we have that organic alien look thing. So if you have watched this part, I'm very grateful. Uh if there's any questions, drop those in the in the comments. There's some links. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Asplash. Ah, as if the artist is always a mode.